Hi, this is Pat Dignan from Image Arts. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about selection techniques or creating masks using either the path tool to create a um, clipping path like this or creating a uh, mask, uh, a layer mask like this by painting. Um, there, there are two different ways to go and when you create a clipping path uh, like this you draw draw around your object with the pen tool. These are done. These can be done very quickly, um, and they're good for things where you don't necessarily need the shadow that's underneath the object. Um, and it's okay if you have a very hard line all the way around it because there's no way to print this uh, with when you have a clipping path. There's no way to print it with a um, soft edge like on where it shows depth of field. Uh, this layer here, this mask was made from the path. I uh, command clicked on the layer on the uh, path and then inverted it and filled that with white to create what will show. It'll show you what will um, what it would look like when printed. So obviously there's no shadow and as we get back towards the back of the knife where there is fall off in focus the edges don't get any softer so that's a that's a disadvantage of clipping paths um, and it's sometimes pretty significant uh, for for the work that I do um, a little different way to go and something that I rec recommend to all of my clients when I'm doing work for them is to use layer masks whenever possible um, this here is a layer mask and if I disable the layer mask here you can see the original picture this uh, this was the original picture of the knife with the shadow in place and I've created a layer mask by clicking on this button here in the layers palette and then going in and painting uh, around the around the knife um, here if I hold down the option key and click on the on the mask itself it'll just show the mask and here at the at the um, tip of the knife where it's um, where it's uh, sharp the I painted it very sharp with a hard-edged knife or a hard-edged uh, brush as it went back where the focus falls off I painted with softer and softer brushes to follow the drop off in focus and this is a nice advantage of using layer masks where you can accommodate the drop off in focus with the softness of the brush you're using to paint it. Um, this can take longer than creating a clipping path but I think the results are often definitely worthwhile um, especially if you're going to be compositing something into another picture. Depth of field uh, is critically important to make it look real. Another nice advantage is that you can break the image, you can duplicate the image and make a separate layer that is the um, that is just shows the fo the um, shadow on it here. I have this I have this layer just the layer mask here is just exposing the fo the um, shadow so I can turn that off or back on. I have it set to multiply here so that if my client would like this to print on a different color, say this color here, I'm going to hit um, option delete to fill the background, fill that layer with the foreground color. Um, then since the shadow is set to multiply, it automatically multiplies over it. The pen or the pen, the uh, knife stays on top um, with a nice soft fall off on it and the um, and it stays nice and sharp here but we can change that we can put you know multiple colors in the background anything we want to do and it still looks like then it starts to look a lot more like it had been shot there um, ideally if if uh, my client had asked me to make this look look like it had been shot originally on this color I would drop in some reflection of this color into this part of the knife where it's showing reflection from the table um, but they wanted it to be on white so there we go just like that um, these are some advantages and disadvantages of different types of outlining 
if you have any questions or if you um, have any questions about this at all, feel free to give me a call or shoot me an email. My email address is pdignan at imagearts.online.com. Thanks. Bye-bye.